The blend tool is similar to the paint bucket tool, but it allows you to apply a gradient uh, instead of just one color. So let's take a look at how it works. Uh, we go down to the blend tool and it's got these mode settings, which allow you to change how the new gradient will affect the uh, colors already existing on your canvas. Right now we're working with a blank white canvas, so we're just gonna stick to normal. I'm not gonna go through all of these, but they're fun to play with. Um, they can change the uh, effect, the uh, colors already existing in a number of ways by adding to them, lightening them, darkening them, giving you the difference of colors, affecting the hues and saturation, things like that. So we'll just stick with normal for now. And then we've got the opacity slider. This is just the colors that you are adding in your gradient. If they are, if it's at 100, they will be solid. If you turn it down, they will be uh, partially transparent based on what you set it to. Now let's get to the gradient. Uh, we've got the gradient here. This shows you what your gradient will look like, and it gives you the name here. Uh, you've also got the reverse option, which will simply reverse the gradient. And then you've got this uh, edit button, which will open the gradient editor. Now I found that uh, when I use GIMP and I open the gradient editor this way, it actually won't allow me to edit the gradient. So um, what I do is I come down here to this gradient window, which if it's not open, you can open it in your Windows drop-down menu, and I will right-click and add a new gradient. And now with this new gradient, I'm able to actually edit it. So uh, we can right click here and we can set the left endpoints color like so, or we can use a uh, the foreground color, let's say, and we can right click and we can set the right endpoints color and let's call that the background color. And now we've got this gradient, which will change if I change my colors. We've also got this arrow in between that controls the flow of the gradient. And if we want to make the gradient more complex, we can right click and we can split the segment. We can split it at the midpoint or we can split it uniformly. There's a few options. The gradient editor can be a little bit confusing, but uh, you just have to play around with it. If you split it at the midpoint, you've basically created two gradients, one right after another by double clicking or maybe just single clicking over here. This blue bar will now only edit this. Uh, and now you can right click and you can change the right color type to the background color. And you'll see that there's a sharp line here because as the right endpoint for this gradient, it's set to the background color. But as the left endpoint for this gradient, it's set to the foreground color. So to smooth it out, we're going to have to change the left endpoint color to background color. And then we'll make the right endpoint the foreground color, so we've got a gradient that flows from orange to purple and then back. So that is uh, one gradient. Let's actually make this a little bit different and we'll set the right endpoint color to a fixed color and we'll make that fixed color, let's say this green. So now we've got a little bit more complex gradient. So now we've got that selected, we can close that. It shows up here in our gradient box uh, which we can click to change to any number of these preloaded gradients or the gradients that we add to it by building. If we simply click and drag, when we click, this first point will represent the left color in our gradient. And as we drag, it shows how wide the gradient will be. And when we let go, the uh, this other point will be the right endpoint of our gradient. So we let go, we've got this nice gradient here. We can undo that. If we um, were to drag it out much wider, you'll see the gradient gets spread out a lot more. There's uh, a number of options here in terms of how the gradient can be laid out. That's the linear. We've also got radial, which will give you a circular effect. And there are a number of other options, including square, conical, spiral, things like that you can play around with. Now, let's undo this. We've got the repeat pattern, and we've got it set to triangular wave. It's actually usually defaulted on none, which, in which case, um, oops, let's change this back to linear. 
in which case everything beyond the left endpoint and the right endpoint will just be solid color. But if you set it to sawtooth wave, it will repeat the gradient one right after another. So you've got the gradient repeated over and over again. And if you set it to triangular wave, it will basically repeat the gradient, but it will reverse it uh, every other time. So you kind of get a constant gradient flowing in both directions. The offset basically just allows you to offset the start point of your gradient. And let's actually set this back to none. So the start point will be offset by however much you set the offset to. So we can go like this and you'll see that our gradient actually starts uh, not where we started drawing the line, but down here. Okay, so we'll turn that off. We have dithering. Dithering is just an option that uh, allows the computer to, instead of only using solid colors, it will use uh, color patterns, which basically trick the eye into seeing them as solid colors. So it's, uh, it basically just makes your gradients look smoother by adding additional colors uh, to it. Uh, this works particularly well, well if you're working in um, in formats that have a low number of colors, like say web colors. And then adaptive super sampling is also another option with a few sliders you can play around with that will help you smooth out the effect of your gradient. But uh, it does take a bit of time to apply it. If we were to draw a gradient with the super sampling, you'll see that it has to process that and then it gives us this, uh, this gradient. So that's the gradient tool. It can be uh, very useful for blending things in your image from one to another. Um, so play around with it. There are a number of options available 